and welcome back to the channel. You join me today in my classic Fiat 500. Done a bit of tinkering this morning, pumped up the tyres, fixed the hanging doors so I've got no more rattles, fixed the mirrors. You join me in a part of England called Delamere, Delamere Forest, and it's full of walkers today so we're just going to be watching out. The car however is running fantastically which is entirely unexpected. No hitches, just getting used to the ridiculously long throw gears at the moment which I'll probably just cut in a clip of now. So I'm currently in third gear and um, fourth is about a foot away. But other than that it's uh, performing fantastically. The issue I have however is that my speedometer is neither reading in kilometres an hour or miles per hour. It is instead reading in a unit of measurement it is decided by itself per hour and uh, I have resolved that situation using a speedometer app on my phone which if it's to be trusted for 17 horsepower is quite sprightly. benefit of the, the weight or the lack thereof is the brakes. It's got tiny little 1960s, 70s drum brakes, but as we come up to this set of traffic lights and, I, and it's red, it doesn't feel worrisome to, to brake coming up to it. New to me is this two-cylinder engine. The soundtrack is quite iconic and unique. I suppose if I'm being really picky, the noise, there is quite a lot of it. What do you expect from a 1960s car? We come to the Fiat 500's biggest adversary, the hill. To be honest, it's surprisingly good. That sums up my review of the 500. Surprisingly good for a car that's 30 years older than I am. Its simplicity, charm and iconic design have really stood the test of time. That's what this car is, an icon. A staple part of any car collection and at the moment at such an attainable price point. I challenge anyone who has a go in one not to have a massive smile on their face. It's just a happy place to be. I love owning two cars on seemingly different ends of the spectrum. The 500 has a tenth the power of the 124, but that just doesn't matter. Also, for comparison, it's a full metre shorter than the 124, but can fit two more people in it. Go figure. As always, thanks for watching. Do subscribe for a new video every Saturday. Ciao!